Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi Jong and today we are going through a little bit of a declutter, some empties, and my recent skincare routine. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with a few things that I am passing off to friends and those are some Chanel and Dior palettes. So I'm going through and kind of just clearing out things that I don't reach for in my collection, passing them on to, you know, people who I know would love them more or, you know, anything that's like old needs to be disposed of like old mascaras and stuff. I'm getting rid of that stuff. So it's a slow process, but I did want to just kind of share some of the items that I will be passing on to friends and we have this Dior palette in Cruise Look, which I actually, I really do like this palette, but I have so many similar color stories that I don't reach for this. And I know this is gonna look amazing on a friend of mine. So I'm gonna pass that on. Next up, we have 659 Early Bird. And this is a really pretty palette, but this particular shade, this kind of mustardy shade, just doesn't really perform very well. So. Um, yeah, I honestly, I never reach for this one. And then we also have Popoline, 839 Popoline. And again, um, this is just one that I don't really reach for. I have some other light pink shadows that I tend to reach for more than that. And then the Dior Coral Paisley 629. This is one of the velvets. And I actually do um, really like the formula on these. But again, these colors, they just, they're not the best for my complexion. So I'm going to give that to somebody who will be able to use that more. And then we have some Chanel palettes. So first up, we have 362 Candor A Provo Provocation. And um, yeah, you know, it's a pretty palette. I don't really wear the colors. I've kept it around a while for swatching and comparison purposes. But at this time, I'm going to give that to somebody else. And then I also have these two from Chanel. So this is 358 Au Fille de Lo and 356 Au Fille de Fleur. And I think they are very pretty. These are very, very soft and light. They are from the LeBlanc collection. And I've enjoyed these for a while, but at this point I don't really reach for those. So I'm gonna pass those on. And then last up we have the Mink Mirage palette from Tom Ford. I just don't like this formula. So I'm going to pass that on to somebody who'll use it more. It This is not the wet dry formula. This is their matte formula that came out a few years ago now. I just, I never really, this one, I just don't like it. It doesn't work that well for me. So I'm going to pass those on. Let's move on to some empties. So allergy season has started here. So you'll notice my voice is starting to change and so forth. Uh, you know, I, I've been dealing with some pretty bad allergies the last couple of days. So not feeling the greatest. So I thought we'd just go ahead and go through some of the empties so I can clear some of this stuff out. First up, we have the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. I am not a huge body lotion person. When I do use body lotion though, this is one I use. They have since changed the packaging. I think now it's like white and blue. I have a new jar of it. But anyway, I always buy it from Costco and it takes me a while to go through it. Um, because again, I'm not great about putting it on every day, but I like this one because it's not super like sticky or anything. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. So one of the things I don't like about body lotion is I always feel weird putting my clothes on afterwards with that on top, especially if it's fragrance and I feel like I can't wear a fragrance and so forth. So I like this because, you know, I, don't feel weird about putting my clothes on afterwards. It doesn't stick to them or make it hard to put them on. And I don't have any unwanted fragrances in there either. Next, we have the Retrouvé Dermal Defense Hand Cream. I go through this all the time. I use a pump every night before bed and I put it on the back of my hand and then I rub my hands together like this. So that way the majority of it is gonna be spread over the parts that I need on my hand and not the palm where things get worn away. But I keep these all around my house. Um, I keep one by the kitchen sink. I keep one on my nightstand and I actually have one here in my makeup room as well. And yeah, I really, I really like this. If I use it on a regular basis, it keeps my hands in good shape. 
if I don't use it regularly, my hands definitely, I, I can tell, especially during the winter because I always end up with like a crack, a split thumb right here. Next up, we have the Christoph Robin Regenerating Mask. This is the Prickly Pear Oil. Um, I use this as a conditioner, not as a mask. So this is my go-to hair conditioner. And I really, you know, I really like this one because it doesn't weigh my hair down, but it's very moisturizing. And so, yeah, this, this would be my favorite. I actually have three more uh, tubs of this. I always keep it on hand. I stock up whenever I see it on sale. So this is a go-to for me. It does have kind of a strong fragrance, that prickly, prickly pear scent, really, uh, which I don't love. Um, but at this point, I'm used to it. I've been using it for years. And, uh, you know, every time I stray away, I always return to this. Next, we have the Lola V Glossing Detangler. And between my kids and I, we've gone through a couple um, bottles of this. And I have to say, I do like this. I really like the scent. It. I don't like, though, how it leaves like a film on my floor <laughs> when I spray it. So on my bathroom floor, it'll be like a little slippery. Um, so I've taken to spraying this in the shower so it's easier to, you know, clean up. And uh, yeah, so I do like this but it's not a must have for me. I think there are other detangling serums that I reach for for my children more so, and I don't use a detangling to, um, spray or anything for myself on a regular basis. So I would repurchase this, but only probably if I am going to be purchasing something else from the site. I am very curious about their other products. So good chances are pretty good that I'll be purchasing another bottle of this along with some of their other items in the future once I use up some more items. Next is Chantecaille Rose de May Cleansing Balm. And I do really like this balm. I think it's a nice cleansing balm. It performs well. But I personally, um, I just find it a little bit too expensive for what you get. It doesn't last super long. Like I use this up, you know, pretty quickly. This is 75 milliliters and I didn't write down the dates on this one, but I want to say like three months or so for me to use this. And, you know, it works really well, but it's just, you know, there are other products I like for removing my makeup that I feel are a better uh, you know, a better financial option, such as the Tatcha Camellia Cleansing Oil. And honestly, they've gifted me, um, they might have gifted me this one or I purchased this one. I'm honestly not sure, um, but I love this. I actually have another bottle of this. I've gone through a few bottles of this. I use this and the Chanel Cleansing Oil. Those are kind of the two I trade off with the most. And I love these for, you know, removing makeup without leaving my skin feeling filmy or oily or anything. So uh, it just works really, really well. Nice pump bottle. Next up from Skin Better Science, we have the Even Tone Correcting Serum. This is 50 milliliters. And I use this from March 10th, 2022, all the way through September 11th. So it took me about six months to use this up. And I have to say, I did really like this. So I would put this on day and night and it just kind of helped balance the redness in my skin. And uh, yeah, I, I would purchase this one again. I thought that was a really nice product. Very lightweight, you know, kind of reminds me of oatmeal. And uh, Skin Better Science, this is dermatologist tested, non-comedogenic, uh, paraben free, fragrance and dye free and cruelty free. So, you know, I think overall they have a really great brand. I also used up a little travel size of the Necessaire body serum, and I have since purchased a full size. I do really like this. I, since I'm not a huge body lotion person, I do tend to prefer using a body serum. And I try to use a body serum every day if I'm not using a lotion. What I'm actually using right now, and it's almost used up, but I haven't quite completed it yet, is the Refer, um, what is it called? The Their like face serum that they came out with this winter. So I've been using that as a body serum and I really like it. It's uh, uh, such a great value and it really does seem to help. You know, it takes care of any of the keratosis pilaris and so forth on your arms. And you know, I, I just, I think it's a really great product for that. So uh, yeah, I like the Necessaire, would repurchase and did repurchase. And I'm also really enjoying the refer. Oh, and another Skin Better Science product. This is 50 milliliters. This is the Alto Defense Serum. 
This is the vitamin C, uh, you know, product from them. And I did really like this. They have since reformulated it. So I have not tried this one, but this one lasted a week longer than the other. So this, I started March 10th, 2022, and it went through September 17th of 2022. So, you know, pretty close in how long it lasted for me. And yeah, you know, I did this one morning and night for the most part, but sometimes just morning. So, um, yeah, this was a really nice product and I would be interested in trying the newer version of that as well. A few Sisley items. We have the Black Rose Cream Mask. I actually already have another one of these. I think it's just a great hydrating mask. I am terrible about masking on a regular basis. I try very hard to put one on uh, once a week, but it uh, doesn't always happen. Sometimes of year, you know, like when it's transitioning fall to winter, my skin's kind of going haywire. I'm really good about masking more frequently. So um, this is one that I do like to keep on hand because it's just a great moisturizing mask. You can wear a thin layer of that overnight as like a heavy duty moisturizer as well. A couple other Sisley items. Um, this is just about out. You can actually see, you know, you can see kind of the pump being right up here. I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera or not. You have to kind of let the light hit the package the right way. But this is the older version of the All Day All Year. They have just recently come out with a new version, which I haven't tried yet, but I would definitely like to try that at some point. And then we also have the Hydra Global Serum. This is the anti-aging hydration booster. Please note there are two products in this type of packaging, um, both called Hydra Global Serum at the top. This one here, though, the anti-aging hydration booster is the one that I love. The other one, I, you know, I, I don't like it. It, it. It's fine. It's just not worth it for me. Whereas this anti-aging hydration booster is something I keep on hand all the time. Well, there goes a whole bunch of stuff that I had sitting there. Oh, good. I still got a little bit out of here. So I'll have to see if I can get any more out. But you can see it's kind of this lightweight gel texture but it feels so hydrating. So I actually, I don't want to waste this, so I'm going to rub it all in. But I think you can even use this as like a lightweight moisturizer. And sometimes I'll do that. It has kind of that spa fresh kind of scent. You can smell like cucumbers and so forth. But it, you can see how moisturized my hand is just from that. And this is a serum you can use underneath your other, you know, moisturizers and so forth. So I wear it every day during the daytime for winter, sometimes at night as well. And then sometimes during the summer, I use just this. And I just think it is so great. It's something I always have on hand. I've been buying it for years. And I have to say, I don't necessarily use it every day all year. During the winter, I use it every day. But the rest of the year, I only use it when I need it. So um, this particular bottle is 30 milliliters. And I bought this last December 4th, 2021 is when I started this. And I just finished this up like I thought it was empty uh, this morning. I couldn't get any out. So you can see it really can last you a long time depending on how you use it. Again, I don't use it every single day. I probably use it every every single day for like three to four months of the year. And then otherwise, maybe like two or three times a week. And it lasts a, about a year. In this case was 14 months this time. So overall, you know, it's totally worth getting for me for the, that particular level of use. Since I keep knocking stuff down, let's move on to this, which was sitting here. This is the Revision Skincare Brightening Facial Wash. And I really like this. This is the one I keep in my shower to wash my face in the morning. And, um, you know, I purchased this super large size. This is 16 ounces or 473 milliliters. Comes in many different sizes or like three different sizes or something. But this size does come with a pump. And I purchased mine from Lovely Skin, which is one of the few places I saw this size available. And I actually already have another one of these. So I will be, you know, I did repurchase this. It has a nice citrus scent. It's just a little, you know, it's freshening. It's a gel type uh, formula and it washes off easily without any film. And I just really like it. You know, it's just one of those nice basic cleansers that 
you know, just is kind of refreshing, a great way to start the day. I've also used this as a second cleanse at night and it washes clean. So I really like this. Now, according to Revision, you know, this one um, does reveal brighter, more radiant skin. It has a combination of alpha and beta hydroxy acids. There's vitamin C in here and it is you have something that can remove makeup and so forth. And I have used it that way. If you want to use this to remove makeup, I would recommend putting the cleanser on to dry skin first and kind of, you know, rubbing that in before washing it away and you'll get more makeup off that way. And yeah, you know, I, it's a, just a really great cleanser. So um, that is one that I will continue using. K18 hair mask. And yeah, I really like this. The way you use this, you actually wash your hair and then you don't put any conditioner on when you get out of the shower. You put this on your hair, comb it through. I leave it, you know, some, that's basically what you do. Like the first few times that you use this, you want to just do, you know, every time you wash your hair, then you put this on afterwards, no conditioner. Then after that, maybe like once a week. I use this on my hair as well as my daughter's hair. And yeah, we all like it. So, you know, they will ask for this when their hair starts to get like more tangled easily and so forth because it really does seem to help keep it in better condition. And although it doesn't like prevent tangles per se, it does keep their hair in a better condition so that tangles brush through more easily. It doesn't hurt as much to brush out their hair. Uh, this is another revision item that I use. This is the restorative night cream. Honestly, this was just a fine basic moisturizer, but I didn't notice anything special about this. So I probably would not repurchase this. It was, it was fine, just nothing special. This, you can see I cut it open to get everything out, but this was the Sisley Buff and Wash Face Gel. This, I, I had this for a couple years, actually. It took me a while to use this up. Um, I just, I don't love the, the physical exfoliant so much. So I thought this was okay. Um, you know, it's when you first use it, it felt a little bit more harsh. I think probably some of the beads had settled more so. And then by the time I used it up, you know, the beads were a little bit more sparse, sparsely distributed in here. So it was okay. Um, but I wouldn't purchase it again. This from Sean Takai, this is the Nano Gold Energizing Eye Cream. And I believe they sent this to me like last year. So this was I started this March 14th and I just finished it around the holidays. So it lasted quite a while. And I thought this was a really nice eye cream, but I didn't notice anything miraculous with it. So a really nice eye cream though. Next, we have a couple empties from Calisim. And I have talked about this brand on my channel before. I absolutely love this brand and will continue to use them. So this is the multi-action cream. This one here is the small one. This is 20 grams of product. This took me one month exactly to use up, but I have since, um, they actually sent me a, a bigger bottle of this, or a bigger jar, so I am using that. You'll see that in just a minute when I go through my skincare routine. And then we have the restorative hydration cream. This one lasted me a little bit longer. This one lasted about two months. And this was just a nice lightweight moisturizer. This one here, um, you know, I think it, it's fine, but I don't notice anything in particular with this. So this is an item that, although I really like it, if you want to keep going with like one whole brand for routine, it's definitely worth getting for that. But otherwise, you know, I think I would probably just pass on this one and stick with the multi-action cream and their serum, which is incredible. Those are my top two products from the brand personally. So really, really love these. And let's move on to what I'm currently using. All right, let's first start off with sunscreen. So I have used this up. This is SVR. This is the Seek of It Plus Cream SPF 50. Uh, SPF 50 plus and I really like this one. So this is a really nice sunscreen. It's made in France. Seems to work well. This was my daily sunscreen for a while. It's kind of like a thick, um, it's a thick product. Let me see if I can get any out. You do have a screw top lid here. All right, so I was able to get a little bit out here and you can see the texture here. It's kind of like a medium weight, but it dries pretty quickly when you are spreading it out. So it actually ends up feeling a little bit thicker on the skin. 
I really like this one though because it really seems to lock in your moisturizer, lock in your hydration, and it provides a little moisture on its own as well. So I think this was really nice. I It's a little heavy for summer, but I really liked it during the colder months. And now I'm using this new Suku Protecting Day Cream, and Suku sent this one to me in PR, and I have purchased and used their previous version on my own, and I really liked that one. That was a nice everyday one, but I have to say I like this one better. This one's a little bit, it's just a little bit of a smoother formulation, a little silkier on the skin. Feels a little bit more lightweight on the skin, and I just think the texture of it is really nice. So yeah, I really like this new formulation from Suku. So this is the new Suku. You can see that it's going to be you know, even though it dries pretty quickly too, just like the SVR, uh, you have a little bit more time to move things around. You can see it's got a little bit of radiance in there and it's just a little bit silkier, thinner weight overall. Now notice you can kind of see it's translucent, but there's a tiny bit of whiteness to this compared to the SVR. I wouldn't say it's truly a white cast. You know, it's not that strong. Um, but just something to know, I think it's actually more probably to do with like a little bit of radiance built in light reflection versus a true white cast, but just something to note there between the two of those. So let's talk about cleansers first. So uh, as I mentioned, I have been using the Camellia cleansing oil. I, I just finished using this up to remove my makeup and uh, then I go in with the second cleanse, but I've also been testing these two here. So this is the Euphoria Night Off. This is a jelly, a green tea jelly cleanser. So let me go ahead and show this to you. You can see there's actually like green tea flakes in there. So it, it's, it's a tea flake. It's not like exfoliating or rough or anything like that, but this is going to be like a jelly like cleanser and you just want to kind of rub this between your hands with a little bit of water and it turns into a foaming cleanser. So I have been testing this with makeup removal and it really does remove everything. So it's really nice. I still think like an oil based cleanser does a better job of removing all of my makeup, particularly some mascaras and so forth, than um, you know either of these, but these both work very well for removing cleanser. This is what I've been using though for a second cleanse. So I've been using the oil and then I've been going in with the Euphoria or the Bloom Effects. So the Bloom Effects, they actually sent me two different cleansers. So this was, these were both gifted to me. Okay, so the Bloom Effects, the Royal Tulip Cleansing Gel. I really like this one. It's like a really like light pink gel. This, however, is not a foaming gel like the Euphoria. So this one, if you want to remove makeup, you just put this gel directly onto your skin. You can see the texture of it is just, it's a little bit of a thicker consistency than the Euphoria. So if you want to use this to remove makeup, put this directly on your skin and kind of rub it in, then wash it off and it works really well for that. So as I mentioned, Bloom Effects, they sent me two of them. There's the Cleansing Jelly, which I absolutely love and had been using this one a lot, but they also sent me like a cream cleanser. That one I didn't really love so much because it, it, I, I think this is true of most cream-based cleansers. A lot of those cream cleansers, they feel like they leave a little bit of film on your skin and that's kind of how I feel about the other one as well. So this one in particular, the cleansing jelly, I really love the Euphoria green tea jelly cleanser. I really love, I think these are both great options, like kind of a lighter weight cleansing balm. Uh, cleansing balms, again, just like cream cleansers, some of them can leave a little bit of a film as well. So I feel like these don't, and they're kind of like the next up and coming makeup remover cleanser is this gel form. And I really like these two. So as I mentioned, in the morning, I've been using the Revision Cleanser. And then at night, I've been using the Camellia Cleansing Oil or one of these two or using one of those as a second cleanser. But every other night, I've been using this Otor Cleanser. So this is the definitive enzyme cleanser from Otor. We're gonna talk a little bit about them because I have been testing their skincare for a few months. This is a powder cleanser, so I'm not gonna shake it out because it can be a little messy. But basically you wanna shake this out and use, I get one hand wet and I shake it out into the other hand, spread it on and then pat it all over my face 
and you can like massage it into your skin for about 60 seconds or so and then wash it off. The reason I really like this and I use this at night, um, it is the best exfoliator that I have ever used. So I find it to be better than those exfoliating masks and things like that. I, my skin just has never felt as smooth as when I've been using this. It's a very expensive product. However, um, you know, it's something that I would repurchase again. They did send me this line. So the tour stuff that I'm gonna talk about, those were all gifted. However, this definitive enzyme cleanser is one that I do plan on purchasing on my own in the future. Let's take a look at some of the other items. And those, I started off using, you know, their items day and night. And then I switched to just a nighttime routine after talking to them. So let's go ahead and uh, let me share what my thoughts are. So first, let me just show you kind of the packaging that these things come in. You can see it's really elaborate. Everything's in this beautiful goldenrod box. And then this is the packaging that everything comes in. It looks like this. It's really, you know, it's an aesthetically pleasing packaging, at least in my opinion. This is glass and everything is refillable. So right now they don't have refills for all of their items available yet, but a lot of the items do have refills available on their website. So, you know, it is something that is a refillable product, at least for most of the items. So first up, just a little bit about Auteur in general. Auteur, they are a German skincare brand and their mission, according, this is from their website, is to create a esthetician grade skincare compositions that surpass existing benchmarks for efficacy, responsibility, and sustainability. They have worked with leading scientists and laboratories in Germany to create a selection of what they call hero products. And those are designed to accelerate skin's own repair functions with a more streamlined routine. So we're looking at all of these ingredients are going to have a lot of high actives and they are going to be, you know, kind of blended together so that you are getting the most active ingredients that work together well to, you know, essentially improve the quality of your skin and boost your skin's own ability to, you know, kind of repair itself and so forth. So they are using EcoCert and naturally derived active ingredients. The packaging here is functional, recyclable, and refill ready. It's glass and, you know, again, we've got the kind of dark glass to prevent like sunlight and so forth going in there. It's responsibly formulated and carefully engineered in Germany to European Union cosmetic standards. There are no harmful additives. Most of the items are fragrance free. There are a couple items that do have a tiny bit of fragrance added just to counteract, you know, sometimes some of those high active ingredients kind of have a, a little bit more of a noxious smell. So, you know, in a couple formulations, there is fragrance, but for the most part, most of these items do not have fragrance. So I actually did a Zoom call with Autour to learn a little bit more about their line after I had been using it for about a month. So I started using their line on November 10th, and so I've been using it for a few months now. And when I start using it on November 10th, for that the first like four weeks or so, I was using it day and night and I, you know, kind of paused all of my other skincare at that time to just kind of focus on this brand. So this brand, they are cruelty free, they're decreasing the carbon footprint, they're vegan except for one product, which is called the Compound One Serum, which has collagen in there as well. There's no parabens. Um, PG, mineral oil, dyes, phthalates, sulfates, so, so many things, so, cyclomethicones, nanoparticles, harmful additives, and so forth. We also have peptide-driven encapsulated retinol and peptides, uh, which will help increase the stability of the products. So as I mentioned, I started off with the Definitive Enzyme Cleanser, which is a powder cleanser. This helps break up pollution, keratinocytes, and it has AHAs, vitamin C, niacinamide, has amino acids found in the desert, and you just mix it with a little water, massage onto your skin for about 60 seconds, and then rinse off, and I really like that. After that, I follow it up with the 
toner here, which is the definitive lifting toner. And I don't know if you can actually see, like I can see with the, the way the light's hitting it, I have liquid still up to here in my bottle. And I've been using this since November and I actually do use this um, morning and night. So this one is my toner, like it's just my toner right now. It's the only one I'm using. But this is a really great spray. Let's see if you can see it. It is a light mist, so it feels very refreshing. And of course you can use this as kind of a misting spray as well. But this is also something that you can use with a lot of devices like the new face or underneath an LED mask to kind of help, you know, boost some of the effects. So there's a peptide in here that's actually charged with LED lights. So, um, you know, it's definitely something to use with an LED mask. It doesn't have to be, but it is, you know, I think that's a nice option. So you can use this as a pre-serum. It's used for balancing, hydrating. It's not exfoliating. You can also use this as a refreshing product throughout the day. Now, Otor has a ton of information about each of these products on their website, they really go through and give you a lot of detail about the ingredients used, you know, what everything is supposed to do and so forth. I'm not gonna go ahead and regurgitate all of that back to you because I know you can easily read that. So I'm gonna focus more on the information that was imparted to me through the Zoom call. So it's gonna be a little bit of a summation of, you know, some of the stuff you can get from the website. But if you are interested in some of those, definitely check it out because it's gonna talk about things. For example, in this toner, we have something called the Peptide X50 Photo Glow. And it talks about, on the website, you can get information about how that actually works to convert light into cellular energy, stimulating fibroblast growth and collagen formation to improve your skin density and increase luminosity and skin radiance. So if you wanted to know more about that particular complex and how that works, they have all of that information. They're very transparent about it. They're actually a really great brand to work with. So after the toner, I would go in with the Definitive Hyaluron Activator. And this, you know, this is special because it actually has five different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid in here. And the different weights, you know, they, they all have like a, a different purpose. Some are absorbed a little bit better than others and so forth. So because they're utilizing five different molecular weights here, it's gonna feel a little bit more rich, more of a gel type consistency. We also have a plant-based growth factor. And here you can see. This is the consistency of the Hyaluron Activator. So it feels a bit like a gel, and then when you spread it out and it evaporates, essentially it dries and absorbs into your skin, it just feels more like a lightweight serum then. So it's like a gel serum type texture. And basically with this, as your skin grows more collagen, it can sometimes form these knots. So this particular complex is supposed to help regulate it and keep everything strong and smooth. So you have a nice smooth network of collagen. It also soothes, calms, and it's really good for sensitive skin. There's lactic and uh, glycolic acid in here as well. So this, you know, I put the toner on and then with hyaluronic acid in general, you know, you want to have some sort of moisture for it to bind to, to help keep that hydration. So I put the toner and then I put this on directly and then I follow that up. Like I let this soak in and absorb for about 90 seconds or so before adding the next step, which was the restoration cream. So this is the Definitive Restoration Cream, and it has 24 karat gold leaf flakes in here to help strengthen your cell structure, diffuse light, and so forth. And you can see it's kind of a nice medium weight moisturizer here. It is nourishing. I find it very comfortable. And yeah, I really, you know, this is just a nice medium weight moisturizer. So people with really dry skin, I do think that you would need to step up. They do have another moisturizer in their line, which should be a little bit more moisturizing than this one. Um, so in that case, you know, if you have drier skin, you might want to look into the other one. Texturally, this one reminds me a lot of the Retrouvé Nourishing Moisturizer. So if you've tried that one, it feels very similar in texture to that. And honestly, I find the two of them to be pretty equivalent. I think they're probably pretty equivalent price point wise as well. 
So those are the items that they sent me originally and I really enjoyed all of those. And you know, I they reached out, kind of check in, see how things were going, and then they sent me a couple more products. We had the Zoom call and everything, and they sent me the Definitive Eye Cream, the uh, Definitive Line Serum, and the Serum Composition Number One, which you know, this is their most expensive product. I have to say, I was really surprised. I was hoping to try it, but I was thinking like a little sample packet. So they sent me this full size. I was, wow. But anyway, I think that's probably the, the main component that has really helped my skin a lot right now. Um, you know, my skin's been in pretty good shape, but I've had a lot of compliments recently on the brightening effect that I've had on there and just how clear it's been. And, uh, you know, very expensive, but I think it has definitely helped. Let's talk a little bit about those. So the Definitive Eye Cream, I've been using this day and night. It's $420 for 50 milliliters, so it's an expensive eye cream. But I do really like this because it definitely adds moisture to my eye area without being heavy or, you know, sometimes those creams can be just just a little bit too much and you know this is a nice medium weight texture so definitely not as light as a gel it definitely provides a lot of moisture and i just find this to be a nice silky formula here and uh according to um Auteur with this microcirculation around the eye area is supposed to be improved your dark circles and puffiness get diminished and so forth. So one of the things I remember hearing or reading is somehow it helps kind of like drain the area there. So anyway, this eye cream has a whole bunch of different complexes in there and a whole bunch of active ingredients to really kind of help nourish and brighten the skin there, but also to improve the circulation so that you're not gathering like, you know how you can get like the puffiness and it kind of gathers there um this is supposed to help drain that area so it's a little bit smoother flatter and so forth so i have to say mine haven't been super puffy so you know i i don't think i'm the best judge of that but i do think that they have my under eye area has looked smoother and i'm going to show you some before and afters in just a minute so the definitive line serum and again around this time this is when they gave me a particular routine to follow so the routine was the first night i would use the enzyme cleanser then the toner the eye cream compound one and then the restoration cream and on night two, I would use the Enzyme Cleanser Line Serum, just a half pump around the eye area and on the expression lines only, so not all over the face. Then I'd use the Hyaluron Activator and the Restoration Cream. So it was kind of a nighttime routine. Then I went back to using some of my regular daytime stuff, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I did all of that. I followed this to a T. And I've been using it. I think everything looks really great. I actually don't have very much makeup on right now. Uh, so this is pretty much what my skin looks like. So the Definitive Line Serum. Uh, texturally, it does kind of remind me a little bit of the Hyaluron Activator, um, you know, just in texture. But you can see this has a different color here. And it just goes on. It's a smooth, lightweight gel serum. And it is really nice. I can feel as it dries, I can feel kind of like things kind of freezing in place a little bit, if that makes sense. And then, yeah, so I really like that. But I have to say this compound number one, it's a really nice product. So this is it. And if you are somebody who is looking for an all-in-one product to kind of do a whole bunch of stuff, that's what compound number one is. This is your serum that has like every active ingredient you can imagine in there that will work together. It has your retinol and so forth in there as well. So there are over 40 active ingredients in compound number one. And I have to say, it's a very expensive serum because it has all of those actives in there. So if you're somebody who's looking for just like kind of an all-in-one skincare routine, this is a really great item for that. However, it's over $1,000. So just something to keep in mind there. We have a symphony of five powerful peptides. And according to Ochoa, they target specific cellular functions and rejuvenate fibroblast cells, increase collagen formation, 
reinforce the protective lipid barrier, and restore skin's own production of hyaluron, allowing it to maintain a higher level of hydration on its own. So they, again, on their website, they go through a whole bunch of details that all of this does. So as I mentioned, compound number one has retinol. It also has a 10% concentration of Otor's perfluoro complex. And this is something that is supposed to increase the amount of oxygen in your skin. So it's like an oxygen facial. So this compound number one is considered a regenerative serum because all of these different things are supposed to repair and regenerate your skin and allow your skin to get to a point where it can actually do more of the things that it used to do on its own uh, without any additional help. So I think it's a really great product. But it now for me personally, I don't do fillers or Botox or, you know, any sort of like skin treatments at the dermatologist or a spa or anything. I very rarely get a facial maybe once a year. So I like to, uh, you know, I like to use skincare that is going to boost things as much as possible. But, you know, um, if you're looking at it from a financial standpoint, if you were to go and get some medical treatments done through your dermatologist, you you know, it's probably more financially beneficial to go that way. However, if you're somebody like me and you like to do everything kind of at home on your own, very kind of like slow and steady wins a race kind of thing, then skincare like this might be something that you're interested in. So overall, I have to say that this line is a really nice line. I really do like the line. You know, unfortunately, my favorite products would be the serum compound number one. Um, I just think that it's a really nice product, but it is, you know, it's very expensive. So would I repurchase it or would I purchase it on my own? Honestly, for the price point, uh, I don't know. I it, It's hard to say. I'll have a better idea of it after I use up this bottle. But other than that, my favorite, definitely this Definitive Enzyme Cleanser, and I really like the toner a lot. Those are kind of my top two, followed by the eye cream. So those would be my favorite items from this line. So as I mentioned, those I've been doing at night, let me go ahead and show you some you know, progress photos so you can kind of see how this line has been working. All right, so me. this is my skin before Otor. I've been using a couple of their items like intersperse for a few weeks, but you know, we're going full blast now. And this is it, let's look up close. Okay, so here's everything up close. And this is after having just woken up. So this is morning before I do anything to my skin. So it's now Wednesday, February 8th, and this is the progress that my skin has made using Otour. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is my skin after just being washed in the morning with nothing on it yet. So no skincare. So you can kind of really see the effects that the skincare has had that are not necessarily quite as temporary as having a serum on your skin. So I'm gonna bring you in closer. All right, so it has been just over three months I've been using a tour, and I wanted to give you the update and see how my skin is doing. All right, so this is going to be on skin that, you know, I just woke up, <laughs> nothing has been applied, I haven't washed my face or anything yet. So this is after everything has sat on my skin overnight. So here is the forehead. And if you look, the Otour is really responsible more so for these horizontal lines and the improvement you see there is essentially from that. 
but I have for about um, five weeks. I've been using an LED eye mask, which covers this area and the 11s. It does not go up here. So I think majority of the effects here are from that LED mask. However, these horizontal lines are definitely from the line serum and the compound serum from Otor, as well as anything on the rest of my face. I stopped all other LED masks during this time. So that's it. I'd love to know what your, your thoughts. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this, whether you saw any improvement and so forth. And let me just share with you some other items that I've been using in my skincare routine. So this is an old travel size bottle of the Sisley Ecological Compound. I love this basic moisturizer. I use it a lot during the summer and I've gone through the full size glass jar of this a few times. They have just redone it. This is almost gone. It's probably like half full right now. And I'm going to use that up and then I do want to try the new one. Um, so I've been using that during the day for the last two weeks. And then this here is the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair. I've been using this a lot on top of my other moisturizers at night. Anytime my skin's feeling a little dry, this is just a really great hydrating mask. I've also been using it during the day on days when my skin feels like it needs a little moisture and I don't feel like layering on products. I've just been reaching for this. This is definitely one that I'd repurchase. Other items I've been using, this is the Intensive Replenishing Facial Moisturizer from Rachel Bay. And I always have a bottle of this on hand. So I really like this one. I'll put it on um, usually at night, but if I'm having a day where I'm not putting on makeup and I just want to have extra hydration on my skin, I've been using that for that as well. And then the Ray Trouvé eye, eye Concentrate. I put this on top of other eye creams to just kind of lock in hydration, add a little extra moisture boost. I pretty much only use this at night and I maybe like once a week. So it's not a it's not something I'm using every day right now. Again, I've been focusing on the Otour. And then, as I mentioned, I'm still using the Calcium Multi Action Cream. I really love their serum as well. I took a break from that during this Otour time so that I don't, you know, mix up any results. But I have been using this about twice a week during the daytime. And then uh, sometimes I'll use the restorative hydration cream, which again, I said was okay. It's just a kind of a basic moisturizer. This pump though, um, my pump is not great. So I don't love the pump. So I'll use that occasionally, but I've been trying to work more on the Sisley. And then anytime my skin, I notice like something's breaking out. I use tea tree oil. So I just add a drop. Uh, most people dilute their tea tree oil. My skin is fine with full strength of this. I've used it for many, many years. I had acne issues when I was, you know, in my 20s, um, teens and 20s. So, you know, my skin has really built up a tolerance to the full strength tea tree oil. So now I can just add like a little dab whenever I'm getting a blemish. And if I do it early enough, it usually just takes care of it. All right. So that is everything that I have been using right now. And yeah, I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of these and uh, let me know what you think. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day.